up everybody and welcome to episode 1 of 5 top tips to help you start your Minecraft modded survival world. So let's get... Grass, get out of my face. Thank you. So today in this episode we're going to be telling you the first top 5 tips to help you start your Minecraft experience. So without further ado, let's get going. Don't you just love modded Minecraft? It's so beautiful. But today we're not here to get in bed with nature, or are we? Because our inventory is full of crops. So the first tip to help you start your modded Minecraft series and experience is definitely to collect the plant life around you. The world is teeming with a lot of plant life, like coffee from Actually Editions. Um, so yeah, you want to grab a lot of flowers, whatever you can. Black lotuses from Actually Editions are a great thing because they can give you black dye, which is a substitute for squid ink. We've got poppies from Minecraft, of course, to give you some nice little red dye. Uh, there we go. We've also got these flowers from Terraqueous. Now, what these can do is you can plant these down, you can break them, they spawn around in the world, plant them down, and they will grow more buds. You then break them, collect the buds, and you can actually put them together to grow more like so each flower will correspond to its color in minecraft you can also mix them to make different colored dyes so that is tip number one tip number two everyone in modded minecraft struggles with food that was annoying that bit of lag everyone struggles with food at the start of modded minecraft a way to fix that is two options here for this top one two and three we have got windy gardens from pam's harvest craft you can grab them and they have a lot of different crops in them which is great for starting out your minecraft experience because obviously they're going to help you be able to grow a lot more farming goods second option is grabbing ourselves some flax now we all have a problem with string in modern minecraft um and a great way to fix that is by grabbing this flax from actually editions again it's a great useful mod actually editions um and what you can do with this flax is it does grow string which of course you can use to make some wool and what can you do with wool well you can sleep when it turns dark of course that was tip number two so, we've just passed tip number one, two, and three. So, you may be asking yourself, what could you have up your sleeve for tip number four? Well, your answer to that is another thing on the food subject. So, if we go to any normal tree, any Minecraft tree will do this, but oak's probably your best option because we can get apples from oak. So, uh, yeah, oak is the best tree because it's the only one that's going to work. All the other ones pretty much suck. So, we're going to grab some oak here. We're going to punch this tree away. We're going to smack it so hard it falls apart. Magically just, you know, crunches up into one log, which is great. Steve has magic arms, you see. So we're going to grab some planks. We're going to grab a crafting table. You do not actually need to do this step. You can do it with your fists the whole tree through. So you could just punch the tree away like a pro. Because obviously we are pros. Like so. Da -da 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 -da. 78, 90, 100. And there's the tree goes. Boom. We're going to get lovely apples. We do need three of these. So let's, in fact, make ourselves a wooden axe just to speed up the process. Let's make sure I have my trusty little friend Vein Miner on. So if we go T, Vein Miner Sneak, it will be activated on Sneak. So if we go over to our trusty little oak tree over here and we hold Sneak, break the bottom log, boom, the tree falls down. We hope this gives us some apples. It's going to give us another one apple, which is not very nice. That tree pretty much sucks. We're going to go over to another oak tree and try this one last time and hopefully we get another apple. We're going to go to we get an apple and... No such luck. Let's do another one. See if we can get an apple from here. Y you're kind of proving me wrong, game. Come on, give me an apple. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, we have flax. Lovely. Um, another apple is all we need. We'll just wait for one. Oh, we're a desert biome. This is cool. Um, let's grab ourselves another tree. You're going to give us... No. The tree's just... The tree... Ooh, lavender. The trees just... They just, they just don't like us. Um, so while we're trying to find another tree that's going to be nice enough to give us a, uh, a nice apple, um, we're going to go around collecting all of this. I'm also going to tell you the reason why I'm doing a lot of stuff whilst, uh, talking is, um, because this is actually my survival world as well, so I obviously want to get the best start for me. So these top five tips are coming from a person who's been playing Minecraft since 2008. Oh, 2011? I don't know. Something like that. I think I've been playing it since 2008, but I've only owned it since 2011. Uh, there we go! Another apple. Now, if we grab this lovely apple that we got here, and we grab a great oak sapling, put it like that, you can get yourselves an apple sapling. And the rain has just come. Thank you very much, rain. If you plant that apple sapling down, and you give it some time, but let's speed that up with a bit of bone meal. 
if I could spell, it would also help. Let's go bow milk, J I config. Let's turn that on so we can cheat in a bit of bow milk. It's not cheating. And let's get a stack. There we go. As you can see, we've just grown ourselves an apple tree. Give these a chance to grow. I wonder if you can bow more these. You can. There you go. You've got yourself some apples. You've got yourself unlimited food. That was tip number four. And the last tip for this video, the one you've all been waiting for, is tip number five. Now, here we've got ourselves an apple tree. Uh, apple? I'm pretty sure these are oranges. Sam, wake up. These are orange trees from Terraquius. Now, if we go again to the bottom log with our trusty friend, Vein Miner, we smash this away, we're going to get a bunch of oranges. Big surprise here. Inventory is full. Let's just chuck away a load of rubbish. I don't need these because I've got the Terraquius plants. So there we go, we're going to grab some oranges. Now, as you can see, I got some orange saplings, some oranges, and that does mean we can replant the orange tree, and they will again grow a bunch of oranges for you. So those were the top five tips to start your modded Minecraft experience. They're going to help you survive, help you be the best you can ever be in modded Minecraft. So if you have enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you put in the comment what you did enjoy, what you thought we could do better, and uh, what you thought um, went well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys.